any form of disease, dis-ease in the body is fulfilled with an emotional charge, meaning that if you are experiencing a medical diagnosis or a health issue, there is a, an emotional charge behind that. And behind that emotional charge may be a fear, a block or a trauma. Now I say this because recently I've had quite a lot of clients who are dealing with blocks in their life but also dealing with health issues and medical diagnosis. And I wanna share a personal story with you guys about myself and my chronic kidney infections and what was actually causing them. So a few years ago, I was suffering from chronic kidney infections and I suffered for about four years. I would have one or two every single month uh, to the point of hospitalization. I went to every single specialist, every single doctor. I got second, third, 15 opinions. Every single test came back negative for a problem. Every single test. And the doctors eventually told me, it's just how you're wired. You know, you're just gonna have to put up with it. Maybe you go on long-term antibiotic. Now this really scared me and pissed me off because I didn't have answers. And I felt like my answer was just, sorry, that's just who you are now. You just have to suffer. So eventually I found a natural remedy that actually healed them and it was celery juice every single morning. And I still have cel celery juice every single morning. But when I discovered EFT tapping, I revisited that diagnosis because I wanted to get to the bottom of what was happening in my life during that time. I wanted to get to the emotional charge, the fear, the trauma that was behind the kidney infections because I'd never had them before. No one in my family had ever had them before, so I wanted to know where that came from. So I discovered that my kidney infections were directly linked to my fear of being abandoned, my abandonment fear. Um, I had that growing up, I had rejection issues growing up, and these kidney infections started when I first moved in with my now fiancé, and he was in the military at the time, so he was going away a lot, so I was alone a lot. And I was in a really dark place. I was um, struggling with depression and all of these things that were happening to me. And I didn't want to be alone. I was petrified of being alone. So my body manifested a health or a medical diagnosis that meant I had to go to hospital, which meant that my partner had to come home every time I went to hospital because I had no one else to look after me. And that medical diagnosis just so happened to be kidney infections. It could have been anything, but I believe the body looks for a weak point in our body. Maybe my kidneys weren't the healthiest that they could have been. And so it manifested in the weakest part of my body that would require maybe the most amount of attention. But of course, you know, my body didn't just say, hey, sorry about the kidney infection. We actually want you to deal with your abandonment issues. No. So I spent the next four years suffering, struggling, going deeper into depression because I thought there was something wrong with me and that also caused strains on my relationship. So it's just a hot mess. But I shared this story because if you are suffering from a medical diagnosis, if you're suffering from a dis-ease in the body, there is definitely an emotional charge or a fear or a block or a trauma that is aiding that medical diagnosis. I'm not saying that it's it's the cause of it, but there is always an emotional charge, a fear, a block or a trauma that is aiding that medical diagnosis. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and if this is of interest to you guys, I can dive deeper into uh, the idea of medical diagnosis and manifestations and trauma and fears and how we can remove the emotional charge that is propelling that uh, illness or disease in the body.